28 people have been killed in an attack on a bus in northeast Kenya, carried out by militants from the Somali Al Shabaab. The group said its fighters ambushed the bus and shot all the non Muslims on board in revenge, they said, for attacks by security forces on mosques in Mombasa. A warning this report by our Africa reporter Jamal Osman contains distressing images from the start. This is the scene of an attack in northeastern Kenya. 28 people were murdered, 19 men and 9 women. Victims were on a bus heading to Nairobi when gunmen ambushed the bus. Passengers were taken out one by one, separated Muslims from non-Muslims, and all those who were not Muslims were shot dead. In an audio statement sent to Channel 4 News, Al-Shabaab Islamists claimed responsibility for the killings, which they said were in retaliation for recent security operations. The group's spokesman says the victims were heading to Nairobi to celebrate Christmas and asks how they could celebrate while mosques are being closed and Muslims arrested and killed. Kenyan authorities have been carrying out operations to crack down on Islamists. This week, nearly 400 people were arrested, several mosques closed, weapons and explosives seized. The country's interior minister promised to hunt down those responsible for today's attack. I can categorically confirm already some offensive have been taken. Uh, they have been identified where they came from. Their sources uh, destroyed. And we continue to make uh, inroads to make sure that uh, we bring to justice uh, those responsible. The attack comes a year after Al-Shabaab fighters stormed the Westgate shopping mall in Nairobi, killing 67 people. Kenyan forces invaded Somalia three years ago in an attempt to defeat Al-Shabaab. They have managed to take over the strategic city of Kismayo. But since then, the security situation in Kenya has worsened, damaging the tourism industry. Tonight, as the families of the victims wait for the bodies of their loved ones, the war between Kenya and Al-Shabaab is far from over.